The protesters began storming the U.S. Capitol shortly after a joint session of Congress got underway to count the electoral votes for Joe Biden. Among those in attendance was freshman U.S. Representative for San Diego's 53rd Congressional District, Sarah Jacobs, who was sworn in just days ago. Tonight, she's calling on the president to be removed from office by invoking the 25th Amendment. Congressman, Congresswoman Jacobs, excuse me, joins us live from Washington. Uh, you tweeted about it, and I've seen more activity. Impeachment is also on the table here. I understand articles have been written up. How close are we to that process? You know, the speaker and the soon-to-be majority leader of the Senate, Chuck Schumer, put out a statement calling on Vice President Pence to use the 25th Amendment and saying we'd be prepared uh, to start impeachment if he does not. Uh, I think it's incredibly important that we hold Donald Trump and everyone who enacted, incited, or encouraged violence yesterday uh, to the highest account possible. Uh, it's incredibly important that they are held accountable for their actions to make sure that something like this never happens again. What happened yesterday, Sarah, when you were there, sort of set the stage? And, and this has to be uh, just monumental for you, obviously, as a freshman congresswoman stepping in, and then this happens. What was it like for you? Tell us what happened. Yeah, so I was actually in the House chamber. I was one of the members chosen to sit in the House gallery to watch the opening of the proceedings. Uh, we had heard some uh, excitement outside that there were some office buildings being closed, but that we would be safe in the chamber and we should stay there. Then all of a sudden we saw the speaker get taken out. We saw Capitol Police uh, running behind us. They told us to get our evacuation hoods from under the chairs and then be prepared to lay down under the chairs. Uh, at one point they told us to take our congressional pins off because they didn't want us to be targets. Uh, and eventually we uh, evacuated across the House gallery having to climb over handles, handle rail handles and chairs uh, with our evacuation hoods on, hearing the protesters at the doors right behind us knocking and yelling until we finally got to a secure location. What is the feeling uh, among members of Congress after seeing that, after seeing these protests get so close? Is there anger, frustration? How are you feeling individually and maybe if you can express as a body? Yeah, I think a lot of us yesterday were feeling afraid and today are feeling angry. Um, I know for myself, I've spent time working in conflict zones. That's my background. Uh, I've never felt so unsafe for my life as I did yesterday on the House floor, what's supposed to be one of the safest uh, places in the country. Uh, and so I think a lot of us uh, are demanding an investigation into how these protesters were allowed to get into the building, how they were allowed to get so close to the House floor and the Senate floor, and also why there was such a different force posture in what we saw yesterday versus what we saw in the peaceful protests over the summer. We heard from another congressman yesterday who mentioned that he was in his office holed up and was going to use the sharp tip of a flagpole as a defense mechanism. Have you thought of that as far as what security items now you would like to have in your own office? I mean, God forbid something like this happened again. Uh, we're definitely thinking about what protections and protocols we need to put in place for our office. Uh, I was wearing high heels yesterday, so I was getting ready to use my high heels if I needed to fight back. Uh, luckily, that didn't end up happening. And I was very fortunate. I was sitting uh, between Congresswoman Demings, who's a former police chief, and Congressman Jason Crow, who's a former Army Ranger. And so uh, I, was, I was in good hands. Congresswoman Jacobs, we only have a, a, about 30 seconds left. Is it going to be difficult to work with members of Congress who, even after that, decided to challenge the electoral votes? You know, I'm deeply disappointed in some of my colleagues who, even after the harrowing experience that we went through, some of them who were with me as we were evacuating and were afraid for their lives still chose to, to cast that vote. Now, uh, we have a narrow majority in uh, both the House and the Senate, and we're going to need to get things done. And I'm going to focus on finding areas where we can do that. But I'm deeply uh, disappointed, and I actually believe there should be real consequences for any of my colleagues who uh, incited or encouraged violence either by taking that vote, by telling their supporters that it was a fraudulent election, uh, including um, uh, some members that I actually had gotten to know really well during freshman orientation. So it is a, it's deeply disappointing, and uh, I think there needs to be some real consequences. Well, hopefully we can also find some unity as we get to the other side of all this. Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, we appreciate your time. Glad you're safe. Of course. Happy to be here.